It is with great pride that we present to you the nominees for the 2012 Peter J. Salmon Employee of the Year. Charissa Archio, Lead Cashier, Assistant Buyer, Louisiana Association for the Blind. Beth Baker, Sewing Machine Operator, Lions Volunteer Blind Industries Incorporated. Franklin Barber, Embroidery Machine Operator, Lions Industries for the Blind, Inc. Dale Bettenhausen, Die Cutter, the Chicago Lighthouse for people who are blind or visually impaired. Gloria Bradler, Customer Service Representative, Envision Industries, Inc. Sharon Brisbane, Pen Assembler, Industries of the Blind Incorporated, Greensboro. Preston Brown, Switchboard Operator, Elizabeth Pierce Olmsted, MD Center for the Visually Impaired. Eric Clark, Production Employee, Northeastern Association of the Blind at Albany. Dwayne Craig, Surgical Box Labeler, Bosma Enterprises. William Davidson, Warehouse Specialist, Travis Association for the Blind. Brenda Elrod, General Operator, Beacon Lighthouse, Inc. Myra Fields, Production Employee, Alabama Industries for the Blind. Walter Gainwell, Lead, Sponge Department, Mississippi Industries for the Blind. Leon Harris, Switchboard Operator, New Jersey Association of the Deaf Blind Incorporated. We take care of veterans, male and female, from the ages of 18 up until my oldest uh, caller was 97. It's a lot of fun. I love my work, and I, I certainly love what I do. Jesus Hernandez, Machine Operator, San Antonio Lighthouse for the Blind. Barbara Irvin, Industry Associate, North Central Site Services Incorporated. Linda Jackson, Assembler, Georgia Industries for the Blind. Bruce Jester, Production Worker, Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Roderick Johnson, Saw Operator, Horizon Industries, East Texas Lighthouse for the Blind. Jeffrey Kubler, Production Employee Senior, The Lighthouse for the Blind Incorporated, Seattle. Being blind, most people don't think you can do anything outside the community. And coming here and working, it shows people that, that you can work even though that you're blind. Matthew Keel, Floor Lead, Alpha Point. It's a good organization to work for, for people who are visually impaired and I also think it's given them, as well as uh, myself, opportunities to grow and opportunities to learn from one another and help one another in the best way possible. Perry Ling, Customer Service Representative, Associated Industries for the Blind. Became visually impaired eight years ago and had a job at that point, but since being laid off, it was hard finding a new job. And uh, this opportunity opening up here uh, at the AIB Base Supply Center was very encouraging and I've been able to uh, stretch myself and learn new skills. James Love, Machine Operator, Dallas Lighthouse for the Blind. Well, it, 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 it helped me to recognize there's, uh, there's still life after losing your vision. 
And you uh, have to go on. You just can't stop. You just have to motivate yourself and go on with your life. Earl Mason, janitor, Delaware Industries for the Blind. Mike McBee, machine operator, Winston-Salem Industries for the Blind. My favorite part about coming to IFB is knowing I'm coming to a place, it's a safe environment, and I can do quality work with my disability. And I feel good when I go home. I done did a job, I know I could, it challenged me and I met the challenge. Sharon McDonald, Customer Care Center Professional, Lighthouse Central Florida Incorporated. Blindness not only opened educational opportunities for me, but it has also made me stronger and has motivated me to excel at the things I do in life, whether it be work-related or as I carry out my responsibilities as a mother. Kim Mickey Churn, proofreader, Clover Nook Center for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Earl McHenry, production employee, Candle Department Industries for the Blind, Milwaukee. The best part of working in that be is that coming to work knowing that I have a job. It's an exciting thing in the world still to just land at home pretty sorry with myself because I can't see. Evelyn Nickel. Sower, Blind and Vision Rehabilitation Services of Pittsburgh. Eunice Nyamator, Packer and Wrapper Machine Operator, Outlook, Nebraska Incorporated. Ernest Oglesby, Sower, Best Work Industries for the Blind Inc., Runnymede. Stephen Ogletree, Gadget Assembler, Cincinnati Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Through the agency as a client and as an employee, uh, it gives us all a place to come and be a productive member of society and have some dignity in the work that we do and take care of our families. Frenchie Randolph, Assembly and Packaging, Beyond Vision. Carmen Rios, Customer Service Representative, Norfolk Program, Center for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Mary Kelly Robson, Line Attendant, The Lighthouse for the Blind, St. Louis. Cynthia Rupert, Production Shipper, Susquehanna Association for the Blind and Vision Impaired. Daniel Salinas, Sales Associate, South Texas Lighthouse for the Blind. Richard Simpson, Energy Dissipating Pad Machine Operator, Lighthouse for the Blind of Fort Worth. Oh, I love my job. What I do here is I'm a machine operator for the Energy Pad. All of us want to know that our, that our work makes a difference. Ricky, I think, understands that maybe better than most. Devine Spence, Production Associate, Blind Industries and Services of Maryland. It's being able to come here, interact with the people that work here, and the stamp looks, that gets my input from time to time on different things, and you know, on some jobs, you just don't get that on some jobs, but that's being something to me. Clay Stillwell, CNC Operator, Arizona Industries for the Blind. Jason Stradone, Collections Representative, Virginia Industries for the Blind. Being able to use adaptive technology not only helps me in the workforce and future employment, but also uh, allows me to be very independent, everything from handling you know, personal things to entertainment and uh, reading. Derek Suarez, switchboard operator, AVRE. My favorite part uh, about working for AVRE is proving to the sighted world that uh, we as blind and visually impaired employees uh, can make 
the same contributions that the rest of the workforce can make. Uh, we are capable of, um, of just about anything. Gilbert Thomas, Hand Assembly Operator, RLCB Inc. Gary Thompson, Production Associate, Midwest Enterprises for the Blind Incorporated. Wai Feng Tian, Sewing Operator, Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Goodwill. Billy Trout, Production Worker, Arkansas Lighthouse for the Blind. My favorite part of this is that I like to get up, and I like to go to work, and I like to do a good job. The most exciting part is, is that I cannot stand to stay home. I have to be up and out and going. Christopher Tuton, Hose Worker, New View, Oklahoma. Paul Valdez, Production Hand Assembly and Packaging, West Texas Lighthouse for the Blind. Gloria Wiley, Bartak Machine Operator, Lions Services, Inc. Larry York, Mop Winder, the Lighthouse for the Blind in New Orleans, Incorporated. It is with great pride that we present to you the nominees for the 2012 Milton J. Samuelson Career Achievement Award. Annie Alexander, Supervisor, Assembly Department, Industries for the Blind, Inc., Greensboro. Cynthia Alioto, e-commerce customer service representative, Industries for the Blind, Milwaukee. Stephen Britton, receptionist, REC representative, North Central Site Services, Inc. Kevin Burton, recruitment specialist, Envision Industries, Incorporated. Charles Coleman III, Supervisor, Graphics, Horizon Industries, East Texas Lighthouse for the Blind. One of my favorite things about working here at East Texas Lighthouse for the Blind is the opportunity to really be able to learn new things and have access to opportunities that may, I may or may not have gotten uh, in a different setting. Stephen Comenci, Accounting Associate, AVRE. Margaret Curry Ruffin, Paper Department Supervisor, Arkansas Lighthouse for the Blind. Uh, being visually impaired has helped me overcome a lot of obstacles because I realized um, early on that being visually impaired does not prevent you from doing what you really want to do if you set your mind to. Gary Elkins, Stalker, Cashier, Customer Service, Beacon Lighthouse Incorporated. Linda Elliott, Production Manager, The Lighthouse for the Blind, Inc., Seattle. Lawrence Alman, Production Supervisor, Dallas Lighthouse for the Blind. Kendra Farrow, Vision Rehabilitation Therapist, Susquehanna Association for the Blind and Vision Impaired. Well, I give a lot of credit to my mom because when I was a kid, she wouldn't let me get out of doing certain tasks just because I couldn't see to do them. And I did try to use that as an excuse, but she made me try anyway and then helped me to figure out ways around um, to do it as best I could with the vision that I had. And so um, now today when I face challenges, I always think about that and I think I'm a problem solver because of, of her modeling that for me when I was young. 
Tamara Foley, Adaptive Employment and Technology Specialist, Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. First of all, I work with some pretty amazing people, and that's always a positive. And also, it's wonderful working for an agency that is about helping others. Mary Annette Gierken, Lead Receptionist, The Lighthouse for the Blind in New Orleans, Inc. Melissa Imtiez, Director of First Impressions, Center for the Visually Impaired. Letty Jackson, Receptionist, Travis Association for the Blind. Jeffrey Keister, Production Lead, Northeastern Association of the Blind at Albany. Becky Loreno, BSC Assistant Manager, San Antonio Lighthouse for the Blind. My favorite part about working at San Antonio Lighthouse for the Blind is coming to work knowing that I have a job and can support my family and stand on my own. It gives me a sense of independence. Nan Magnus, Director of Low Vision Rehabilitation Center, Louisiana Association for the Blind. So knowing that I can come to work and help people on a daily basis is what really motivates me and makes me love my job. It's really not work when you love what you do. Donna Moore, Purchasing Technician, Alabama Industries for the Blind. Luis Naramatsu, Public Relations Coordinator, Georgia Industries for the Blind. Ruth Sager, Coordinator of Senior Services, Blind Industries and Services of Maryland. Well, it is exciting to see people grow and begin when they begin to realize, oh, the, my life is not over because I'm losing vision. And in fact, I'm just opening a new chapter of my life. I'm meeting new people, doing new things. Sometimes they're learning skills they've never even done before, such as use a computer. Other times they're revisiting things they know very well. But it's exciting to see them just blossom and grow. Mark Schaefer, Lead Assistive Technology Instructor, Junior Blind of America. John Sherwood, Adaptive Technology Specialist, RLCB Inc. Lynn Shields, Customer Service Representative, Winston-Salem Industries for the Blind. My favorite part about working at IFB would be my customers. I've had people come in who have not been able to read or see photos or read their computer monitor for possibly two, three, four, five years. And just the sheer joy of knowing that I have made a difference in their life is probably one of the most rewarding things that, that I will ever experience. Malvern Slaughter, Lead Quality Inspector, Delaware Industries for the Blind. Jerry Waltz, Material Handler, The Lighthouse for the Blind, St. Louis. Courtney Williams, Rehab Instructor, Lions Volunteer Industries of the Blind, Inc. Manuel Zavala, Production Development Assistant, West Texas Lighthouse for the Blind. Let's hear it for all the nominees for 2012 Employees of the Year.